sorry, Quentin. I called the St. Thomas Airport. I said I called the St. Thomas Airport the minute I got off the phone with you, but Nola's jet was moving down the runway. I couldn't get a message through. Well, Gunther, uh, Gunther, I said thanks for trying. At least my timing's consistent. I found the Temple of Gold too late, and now I'm too late to catch Nola. Well, she should be back this afternoon. You can call her there. But I don't understand how you and Helena could have run out of fuel. I checked the last day we were diving. We had a full tank. Well, it's, it's, it's almost as if someone had purposely emptied those tanks. But, but I don't understand how that could be. Well, that would check out with something I just heard. A geologist went to the island, close to the island, to get photos of the volcano, and he saw someone in our diving boat. And uh, whoever he was, the man started the boat, took it out a bit, and then signaled for help. The man deserted our boat and went back to St. Thomas with the geologist. Well, that had to be... That had to be either Silas or Davy. Obviously, one of them survived. Gunther, track down that geologist so we can get a description of the man he took to St. Thomas. I'll get on it right away. Helen and I are about to leave this little island and head back for St. Croix. We ought to be there in oh, an hour or two. But if Silas is alive, none of us are safe. the St. Thomas police and gave them descriptions of both Crocker and Davy Lance. But I couldn't be too specific because the only time I saw them was during that fight at Crocker's campsite. But I did tell the authorities that Crocker was wanted for murder. Crocker's like a cat with nine lives. Now, if he is the man the geologist took off the diving boat and took to St. Thomas, what I want to know is how did he ever get off that island alive? And did he have time to dig up the map that you buried there? What does it matter? Even if he did find the map, we know the Temple of Gold is buried under tons of molten lava. I needn't be reminded of that. All those years of work wasted. Charles Taylor's death. It's all such a waste. Gunther, I'm very worried about Quentin. I've never seen him in a depression like that. You've got to understand what he's going through. He worked for years on this quest. Came so close to his goal, and now he's lost everything. Of course I understand that. But Quentin's an archaeologist, one of the best. He knew the, the odds involved from the very beginning. No. I feel there's some other reason. A personal reason that's involved him in this quest. I don't know about any personal involvement, but professionally, it's been a terrible blow for him. It may take him years to get over it. What was Nola's frame of mind when she left St. Croix? She was as depressed as Quentin is now. It was very selfish of her to leave before she even knew whether he was dead or alive. I think Nola had personal feelings involved in this too, Helena. Well, it's up to us to snap Quentin out of the mood he's in. Maybe we could get him involved in a, in a personal, uh, a new project. I have it all figured out now. There is a balance of $1,150. You will give me a check in that amount, and I will return the check you gave me as a deposit on the board. Quentin, Mr. Robidoux is telling you what he owes, what you owe him. 
I'm sorry. It is $750 for the boat, another 100 for the diving it's gear. It's all right, it's all right. I'll take your word for everything. Uh, Gunther, uh, see about making arrangements to return immediately to the States, will you? Sure, but don't you want to talk to the geologist first? He's on his way over here right now to give us a description of the man he took to St. Thomas. Yes, yes, I forgotten. Quentin, the moment we get back to Springfield, I want you to start on a whole new archaeological project. I'd be more than happy to work as your assistant. I haven't the heart to start anything new. Thank you. Here's your deposit. Are you Mr. Robidoux? Ah. My name is Edward Franklin. I understand someone here wants to talk to me. Mr. McCart, this is Mr. Edward Franklin. The geologist who rescued a man off the island. How do you do? How do you do? Uh, thank you for coming over. Mr. Franklin, it's of vital importance to us to get an accurate description of the man you picked up off the diving boat when you went in close to the island to photograph the erupting volcano. Well, he spoke with an a English or Irish accent. Uh, he was about six feet tall, good-looking, powerful build. Crocker. He's still alive. Honey, why don't you go take a nap? You need some rest. I'm not sleepy, Mom. I slept on the uh, I slept on the plane the whole way. I get it. Yeah, hello. Sure. Nola? It's a few long distance. If that's Mr. McCord, I don't want to talk to him. Oh, Nola, why don't you at least give him a chance to explain? I'm not interested. See the operator, who's calling, Miss Sheridan? Uh, telling a man, Sini. She says it's an emergency. Honey, maybe you better take it. Something might be wrong. Hello? Hello, Nola. Quinton and I were both so relieved when Gunther told us that you both survived the storm and that you were safely on your way back to Springfield. So what's the big emergency? I was afraid you wouldn't take the call unless I said it was urgent. Quinton asked me to call for him, just to make sure you were all right. Yeah, I'm fine. You tell Mr. McCord that I'm with my family and, and people who care about me. I'm just fine. Lola! Hi. Hi. I want to thank you. For what? Well, for realizing how much that phone call from Helena hurt me and helping me talk about it. Well, you don't have to thank me. I just hope it helped. It did. Good. Yeah. <sighs> so what time is it? Oh, I think it's a little after nine. Oh, aren't you going out with Ed Bauer tonight? Yeah, he's coming by in a little while. We're going to go out for a drive. And then we're going to go for a swim. You want to come along? It'd be easy to get a babysitter. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. Where's Mom? She went out to a movie with Mr. Fancher and Mrs. Peterson. I think she needed the rest after all the worrying she did about you and taking care of Kelly Louise. I just looked in on her. She's sleeping like a little angel. You know, Nola, I can call Ed and cancel for tonight if you don't feel like being alone. Oh, no, uh-uh. No, really, it's okay. I, um... Uh... Well, you know, I haven't had to get used to being alone anyway. But who can be alone in this place anyway? You know, I realized something that this place may not be fancy and everything, but uh, it's home and I really feel secure here. I guess it's been about a year now I've been away from home, moved away, and, and I realized that you know, this place is, I hated so much when I was growing up. The only place where I really do feel safe and secure. 